I initially wanted to paint a mural on the PLU campus. Um, returning from Oaxaca, Mexico, the way that they saw art as community to share with everyone, no matter their class, no matter where they come from, something that wasn't tangible that had to be bought by any person, something that can be shared among everyone was something so powerful for me um, that I wanted to see that happen my senior year at PLU. Yeah, so I'm Carly Brick. I'm one of the co-organizers of the mural project. We held our first community forum to try and get community buy-in from the very beginning. We wanted to hear what people would want in this mural and start the idea generating process from the community. And from there we came up with themes and some images to start a design process. Some of the things that stand out to me, um, specifically design-wise, is that the overall mural really captures a narrative. It shows a variety of different moments in time of Parkland, um, significant moments in time, moments of normal life in and throughout the ages, and that is very fascinating. Parkland's a really complex place, and you think about what Parkland was like um, 40, 50 years ago, and think about what Parkland is like right now. I think the voices can see themselves somewhere in that mural, and. Uh, that's awesome. And it was really cool to hear really contrasting things and then try and think through how they'd fit together in some way or how all these different contrasting things could be true about one place. So it wasn't just a piece of artwork that could be put there or put anywhere else. This is really site specific. And that was one of the things that I think I value and that a lot of the community values as well. It wasn't until the spring that after we were granted funding by ASPLU, um, a small arts grant from the Pierce County Arts Commission, and so many donors that we're like, okay, we have enough money to actually start this project. Another memory was the, the first priming day um, when we painted the wall blue, uh, not knowing if anyone was gonna show up or if anyone was gonna wanna be a part of it, and um, having so many volunteers that we finished in like an hour and a half. My students had a blast. It was something that they were excited to do in their own community, it was a huge part of it. And then just to give them something to be prideful of, they worked on this letter to hear a couple of students talk about what letter they did. And I painted this person's hair, or the different stories. It was just really fun to hear the excitement in their voice and kind of the ownership that they took over it. Parkland, um, we actually have something with our name on it. And uh, that name also represents uh, who we are. I think seeing like those two worlds of like community and art come together, um, especially for a young person, is it's really inspiring and it's empowering. And so when a young person gets involved and engaged in that, it's, it's really powerful because it's it's taking away, it's it's deconstructing the stigma that that they don't care about anything, that nothing matters to them. I believe that all of our young people should be able to look around them in their communities and see. Um, see things that reflect and um, that resonate with them. And so giving, giving them the power to make it have an influence on their surroundings through art is, I think, is a really special way to do that. I think when, when community art is done well and actually represents the community, it's something that, that gives the community pride. The, the mural, both physically and symbolically, I think it represents a centerpiece of Parkland. And I think that what it does is it looks at Parkland with human eyes, not just a stereotype, not just a statistic of what you've got. And it's the visual landscape of our city. It really, it's like, it's actually creating something that is changing the landscape of our city. I think I'm just so thankful that so many people were excited about it. That overwhelming support from so many people made this project possible because there's so many people in Parkland that want to see projects like this happen. Um, so I'm really grateful for, <laughs> for everyone who wanted to be involved and were involved in some way, shape, or form. 